everybody, this is Rachel with Kaggle, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your own data set. So to start with, I'm at the data sets listing here on Kaggle, uh, kaggle.com slash data sets. You can also go to Kaggle and click on this data sets uh, link up here. And if I scroll down, you can see we have a lot of different data sets, many of which are uploaded by users, some of which we actually maintain ourselves to make sure that they're up to date. And if you want to create a new data set, you do that by hitting the new data set button here, and this will pop up a dialog box. Uh, and I have created some mock data for this purposes, so I'm going to call this uh, my fake data. Uh, and I'm going to have it be private. Uh, you can see I have a quota, so I can only have 20 gigabytes of private data on the site at any time. I can have as much public data as I want. I'm also going uh, to choose to convert tabular files to CSVs. The file that I'm going to upload is already a CSV, but if I have like an Excel file or uh, something else that's sort of a, a little bit more difficult to read in programmatically, then you might want to convert it to a CSV or comma separated value. So I am going to uh, upload my mock data set here. You can see I'm calling it mock data. Um, and I clicked and it brought up a dialog box on my personal computer just to, to allow me to select it. Um, and you can see it's been uploaded. I could upload additional files if I wanted to. If you want to maintain the file structure, you should upload a zipped file of your directory. Um, and then that will, that will save the nesting. Otherwise, everything will just be uploaded as a flat structure. And now I can hit create. Um, and my, my upload speed on my personal internet is a little bit flaky right now, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, and it looks pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, so I've created my data set, and I hit confirm. But I'm not done. I can start using it now, but if I want to share this data with other people, it's going to be um, pretty hard for them to understand what's going on. So uh, we've created actually for you a checklist to help you make sure that your data set is high quality and people can follow along with what you're doing. So I'm going to add a subtitle, uh, totally fake, not real data. And you'll see that there's like emails and IP addresses. And again, 100% made up and not real. Uh, and it should be a little bit longer. So totally fake data that's made up. Save changes. Uh, and now we should add a tag. So I'm gonna, you can see we've automatically detected the size of the data set, it's small. Um, I'm gonna say it's business and it's also, is fake a tag? It is not. Is data a tag? Uh, yeah, it's sort of, it's definitely tabular data. It's maybe database data. Uh, adding a description. Uh, so you can see that we've given you a um, suggested flow for what goes into your description, but this is totally fake data. So I'm just going to leave all of that and write that totally fake data. Save that. Uh, you can upload an image, and I'm not going to do that right now, but you just upload, choose a banner image to upload. Um, Unsplash.com has lots of public domain data uh, image files that you can use as your image header, and they're very nice. Um, and you can also describe all of the files. And if you've forgotten what's in your files, we give you, uh, and anyone who comes in and looks at your data set once it's uh, public, a really nice little uh, uh, sneak preview. This is not all of the, the rows that are in my data set, but I can look at all of my columns. Um, you can also uh, sort by column uh, in the um, little preview screen. And we've also got this option that tells you the name of each column and then the, the data type that we've inferred. Um, so this, type, this file contains totally fake data. Again, I just want to make real clear, this is not anybody's individual data. And we also have an option to add uh, information on each of the columns. So um, I'm not going to in this case because I think the column names are, are fairly... Um, straightforward, but I think it is important to know that this is probably the primary key. So this is going to be unique for each person. Uh, and I'm going to save these changes. Uh, and then uh, they want us to include all the column descriptors, and I didn't. But you can. You can go through and take time to make your data look really nice so that other people can uh, use it and find a lot of value in it. And uh, if you suggest questions, maybe people will spend some time doing analysis on your data. 
Uh, another thing that you can do on a data set that you've uploaded, if you're not entirely sure what's interesting about it or you're just getting started, is you can start a starter kernel. So this is a kernel that does some very basic um, exploratory data analysis. So we have created it here. And if we looked at edit notebook, we could check it out. Uh, and it's automatically being committed, which means that the code is going to be run from top to bottom. And until it's run all the way through, we're not going to see the, uh, the output. Uh, so let's go back to our data set. Uh, but then once it's being run, we'll see some nice uh, exploratory data analysis that might help you kick off your analysis. And that's all there is to uh, uploading data to Kaggle. Some a little bit more advanced stuff. We've added insights recently, so you can see everything that happens when you upload a new version of your data, and it uh, it'll save the version and information on each of the versions that you've uploaded. But you can see a little bit more information here. Uh, there's also a discussion forum on every single data set. So if you're interested in having a little chit chat, um, you can do that with you know the public if you make it public or with um, specific. Uh, people that you've added to it. So I can add other users to my data set, even though it's private, so they'll be able to, to see it. So I might add, for example, uh, my admin account, and I might give myself viewing privileges, or I might say that I can edit it. Uh, you can also make it public here. Uh, I'm again, uploading the image. We've been here before when we were going through the checklist. Uh, and you can also specify the license. So um, by default, we just say unknown because we don't know until you specify it. But we have a lot of different licenses supported. And of course, you can upload a license with your data set. Uh, and then the uh, default is versioned, and I recommend that you do that. But if it's a very large data set and you only want the latest version, that is an option for you as well. And of course, here is where you can delete it. And that's all you need to get started. I hope you guys uh, do a lot of interesting data analysis and uh, see fit to share some of your, your cool data. Have fun.